Hey, I hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, I'm not going to take too much of your time. I know you're probably super busy. I wanted to show you something because the reason why I'm, I'm making in this video is simply because when you very likely have been working with some type of agency or you've tried to set up ads and all of these kind of things before and you're probably tired of hearing about it. But one thing that is sort of missing, that I think is missing and that we found in our own agency is that very often what happens is that people provide advertising, right? They provide the advertising aspect. So, oh, hey, look at me, I'm gonna set up your ads, right? That's pretty cool. I mean, that that's, you know, that's a part of a problem that is being solved, but it's not the actual whole problem because once you, you get these ads set up, well then, you know, you need some content for them, right? And once you have the content and you have the ads, well, then you can begin running some traffic, but then you still need a website that actually converts. And once that website converts, well, then you need to find a way of retaining your customers. And once you have all of that, well, then you have a lot of customer support stuff probably going on. So you need a system for that too. So the whole idea with this is essentially that we can go in and solve the entirety of the scalability issue uh, instead of just part of it. Of course, there are still things like, you know, ordering more product, speaking with suppliers, all of those kind of things, logistical issues, if all of a sudden you have to send a whole lot more than you're used to. But I believe one start of this is actually um, being able to provide content on it. So as you might know, whenever we show an ad, it can be on Facebook, it can be on TikTok, it can be on Snapchat, whatever it might be. Well, then we need something to show. Right. And what happens very often and, and the reason why I'm digging so much into this is because I've been running an agency for quite a while. I've also been running e-commerce businesses for quite a while. And one of the biggest pains that I found myself was that this content for a very long time, I didn't like being on camera. Right. And you probably feel the same. Um, so how can I solve the entirety of the acquisition issue, which means also including content? Right. So this is where this come in, the UGC creator program. So the user generated content um, program. What we essentially have done is we've built out a database uh, of people that are really good with TikTok. They're really good with Instagram reels, these kind of things. We also have a few YouTubers and what we want to do with them. It's not actually leveraging their uh, following or anything like that. That's actually not the main focus. We can do that as well, but that's not the focus. The focus is that we have these people actually make a piece of content to us that we will then use in the advertising. So assume that someone makes a, um, you know, with one of your products, let's say that they make a one of these TikToks, right? Um, they make it fast paced, snappy. It's something that people like to look at. It's something that would generally do well organically, right? Then we have this whole thing and we, of course, build it, build it around whatever offer that you would like to be providing. And then we can actually put that in and use it as an ad creative. It's something that a lot of companies is already doing, but I see that it's mainly the bigger companies that are doing this or the more newer companies that are doing that, at least here in Denmark, where I'm sitting right now. Um, and so it seems to me that a lot of businesses have not breached that gap between you know being able to just advertise and, and being able to actually use user-generated content for it because it generally speaking takes a lot of resources in terms of time and in terms of communication and all of those kind of things. So that's essentially a very quick overview of what we're doing here. So we make the content, we make the actual content that you can use organically and that we can use for the ads. We create all of that using influencers then we set up and we manage all of the advertising. So we actually make sure that that is scalable as well. Um, and in order to, to basically ensure that all of this traffic that we are paying for, because that's what you're doing when you're advertising, you're paying for people to go to a site, right? Well, then of course we're ensuring through uh, conversion rate optimization that your page actually converts. Uh, now, I have no idea what it is at currently, but uh, it's something that uh, it's one of the first things that we look into and see if we can optimize. And I'm going to try and keep this super short for you. But basically, one of the, the reasons why this is so important, maybe I should have shown you this to start with, but one of the things here, let me just zoom in a bit so you can see. So 
this is just a very high level overview and of course a lot of metrics goes into this but let's assume that okay let's just say your average order value is is 126 dollars right just put whatever number we can say 120 as well we can say 200 whatever right and you're spending around ten thousand dollars on advertising doesn't matter what platform it on it's on and you convert one percent right well then we have the content here essentially then we have the content here essentially right because that is going to um, tell us what kind of click-through rate we're going to have and if that's one percent well then you have one percent of the total reach that you have you have one percent of those uh, of the total impressions you have one percent of those actually coming to a page and then you have one percent of those actually converting into making a sale so you can see in this example here we would invest ten thousand and we would get out uh, about 92 orders right which would mean we had a cost per sale at 108 dollars now let's assume that we actually made some great content and we got this to be uh, let's just say two percent then we'll double it right then you can see how just by changing this just by getting content that is that's not trash basically right we go from minus one thousand dollars to a profit of seven thousand dollars that's what this is um poas poas so profit on ad spend right because one thing is the roas which everyone likes to talk about but the roas doesn't really matter if you're not making money off of it right if you have too many expenses so this is the profit on the ad spend that you'll be getting so after you've subtracted the actual cost of the ad spend and after you have taken into consideration how well it, everything converts. Um, this is why content is so important. And now look at this. If we have just semi-decent content, our KPI here, our benchmark is actually two and a half. So let's just put it to two and a half. Let's then say that you have uh, you know, a very, very lean store. We run every th everything through a landing page, so it's highly convertible, and we get it to convert 2% or 2.5%, just like I, our benchmark is. We get it to 2.5%. Now you have 45,000 in profits, right? And this is, of course, an 80% margin. Uh, it can be higher or lower than that. Nobody knows, depends on your structure and the business and everything. But it's just to show you how important these two metrics actually are because everyone, again, everyone talks about ROAS all the time, right? Ooh, I'm gonna deliver you a million X ROAS. But it, it doesn't matter if you don't have the remaining numbers in your business in place because, for instance, all of this wouldn't matter either. All of this that I just showed you, if your margin was freaking 5%, right? If that was shit. Then we need to do a whole other thing. So actually going in and making a business scalable and taking it even further, it is a lot fucking more than just setting up a single ad. Um, and it, it involves a lot more issues that I hope uh, to be able to solve really well for you. So if you want to hear more about this offer, if you want me to actually take you through this and go into into depth into detail with how exactly we're doing this then just let me know uh, i'll send you over a link where you can book a call with me uh, anytime this week or next week and then uh, you know we'll look at it together 15 minutes or so um, and with that said i'm just wishing you a beautiful day hey